he's mine now. What's up everyone, this is Volkis here. Uh, this is a new video in a series that I haven't made an episode on for a little while, which is the uh, showcase of my Minecraft pixel art world, which as you can see is 90% um, my builds on here and 90% dedicated to Mario Power Up so far. Uh, basically this entire world is like a pixel art museum and I have a lot of plans for future expansion, but uh, for now we will take a look at what's there. So I'm not the only one on this world, it's mainly my world, but I've got friends who uh, build stuff here as well, uh, so I might show off some of their new stuff that they've made since the last episode. I know that many of you see this video probably haven't seen the original videos, but uh, this might be one of the last like numbered parts I make in this series, and then I might just wait until, because I don't have that many more power-ups to do I can think of right now, uh, so I might just wait a bit until I've actually finished most of the Mario power-ups and then just make an, a f like a full video on all of them which will probably be a long video but I could always release it in parts if uh, that would be whatever so if you lot haven't seen these mushrooms before and you want to see a full video on them you can check out the previous parts I'll link the uh, I'll link the first five parts in the description below and then keep in mind I might make a new video once this is mostly done to sort of show it all off. Before we get started I'll just show off a few that are in a different part of the world and I will apologise right now for the camera quality because I'm literally filming my screen and obviously there's going to be a bit of shake and stuff but I do not have display recording software right now. Uh, I don't have a capture card or anything. So these two are characters from Brawlhalla. You probably, you know, if you're on my channel you've probably seen my most popular video which is about Brawlhalla so uh, you know I play that game Basically this is the hero legend Orion with his default skin armor and this is the Dark Age Orion uh, skin. So if you played the game you'll probably recognize them. I didn't make these sprites, I just rebuilt them in Minecraft. I don't know where to credit them or anything but you know they aren't my designs. Uh, I did translate them to Minecraft though. Uh, and then these are just custom Star Wars mushrooms that my friend made that I sort of rebuilt over here. Uh, and then these uh, are the main builds in the museum over here. So these are the super mushrooms and poison mushrooms, basically every type of mushroom that I could think to build. Um, and then, you know, as you can see, there are quite a lot. And like I said, if you want to see those, then check the description. Um, there are a lot to cover, and then we have the second sort of section which are fire flowers um, and just flower type power-ups including some pretty obscure and pretty large ones as you can see uh, I've spent a lot of hours building on this world as you can no doubt see here um, I have built all of these by myself like I said my friends built their own stuff uh, okay, so we're reaching the end of the flowers now, and then after the flowers, I believe it is, yeah, it's these hearts and, like, other kind of uh, miscellaneous type power-ups here. And then the back row are Yoshi, Yoshi power-ups, apart from that watch thing. I don't think that's a Yoshi thing, but then these are the berries that Yoshi can eat. Uh, or just you know berries from Mario in general. Then we've got some shells from Mario Maker, the beetle shells, and then finally here we are uh, with stuff that no one on the channel will have seen before. So first of all, back there, I might as well cover them first because um, these are straight away new. Some of these stars you will have seen before if you watched the last episode. So I'll start with the brand new um, super leaves back here. So. Right there we've got the original uh, sprite from Super Mario Bros 3 which is of course the raccoon suit version. I haven't made any Tanuki versions yet. Uh, but those are the, well technically I haven't but you'll see what I mean. Anyway those are the uh, original sprites here from Super Mario Bros 3. That's the sort of in-game model when it falls down. This I'm not sure where the model comes from for 
the um, actual original Mario Bros. 3 one. This is a double-sided sprite because this color in green is from the original Super Mario Bros. 3 and then the red version is from Mario Maker in the Super Mario Bros. 3 style. So uh, I put them double-sided because they're the exact same sprite with a different color. And by the way, if you're wondering what the signs say, they're just telling you what they are and what game they're from, so I don't need to read them. Uh, then right here, you've probably not seen this one before, I didn't know it existed when I found it. Uh, but apparently this was an unused sprite for Super Mario World, so they were planning to put the um, Super Leaf into Super Mario World, and they ended up replacing it with the Cape Feather. Of course the cape feather is great and I'm glad they did that, but I would have also liked to see would have liked to see what this would have been like, so I kind of wish that Mario Maker 2 would like add the super leaf into the Mario World style with this sprite. It would be kind of a cool tribute and they could uh they could design from the ground up a new sprite for what Mario World Mario would look like in the Tanuki suit, but or raccoon suit rather. Uh, and then this one right here, I'm not 100% on, um, because it looks great to me, but I don't know how accurate it is to the actual real uh, sprite. This is, of course, the updated design. Uh, I didn't actually, well, I kind of knew, but I didn't realize just how long the Super Leaf was absent from Mario games, from Mario Bros. 3, the original, all the way up to 2011 was the next time we actually saw it in 3D Land, so... Uh, kind of weird to think that it took that long of a leave of absence considering it's so iconic, but uh, this version right here I am fine with keeping because it's definitely accurate. This is the invincibility leaf or gold leaf from 3D Land of course, uh, first appearance, and it basically is a tanuki suit where you're invincible. So that's why I said it technically haven't made any tanuki suit but this turns you into Tanuki Mario that's white and gold. Uh, and then this thing, this monstrosity, is the um, the Super Mario Maker stamp for the Super Leafy. If you're wondering why it's so big, it's because I had to make the outline pixels double scale so that the mini pixels would be in one-to-one -one scale with the sprite. So, and then finally this thing is the sort of modified super leaf with a mushroom addition. I don't really know how it works because I haven't I don't think I've tried that in Super Mario Maker 2, but yeah, Super Mario Maker 2 is where that is from. So coming along here, I do remember because I went back and looked, I remember the last star that you guys saw in the last episode. And that is just coming up now, I think. Yeah, I think this was the last one you saw, so right here, uh, we'll start from here. So this one is from, this is the original New Super Mario Bros. from 2006 on the original DS. This one is, I believe, Mario, yeah, it's Mario Kart 7. And then I will back out for this one, as you can see, it's the big one, ignore the pig. This is, I think, New Super Mario Bros. 2, and it's basically just the new star sprite. Uh, so that is that one, I believe. Yeah, New Super Mario Bros. 2, but it's not just... It's not the first appearance from that game or anything, it's just the new star sprite, but the model, the sprite, actual pixel art thing that I made this from is the sprite from New Super Mario Bros. 2, so that's why it's uh, labelled as that. That took quite a while to build. This one also is quite large, and it's from... Uh, it's from Mario Party Island Tour, which... Okay. I don't really know about it, but it's got a kind of different looking sprite, so I made it. And then this one right here you'll have to excuse because I'm partway through building it, but it's, it's just such a chore to build and make it look actually accurate to the sprite that I have currently taken a hiatus from it. So this is a work in progress of Puzzles and Dragons Super Mario Edition which is very obscure but the sprite looked different and I wanted to make it but it is a genuine chore to build so I will be getting to that at some point but it's not finished yet.
This one is the stamp from Super Mario Maker. Uh, obviously a lot simpler to build than the leaf. And then finally this one right here is a bit different. It's not actually a superstar, it is a rainbow star from Mario Galaxy. Uh, I actually forgot about this one. And the thing I'm most pleased with about this one is that I actually designed the sprite for this basically by myself. Uh, I saw some pixel arts for it and they just didn't really cut it for me so I made the design for the star and the colors and stuff looking by uh, looking at the actual in-game model. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. I also used colored glass paint um, blocks in front of uh, stained clay and stuff to give it a kind of shiny rainbowy effect. So let me know what you think of that. Obviously the camera quality isn't the best but hopefully you can still have a form an opinion on there. Uh, so I haven't built a ton more stuff than these what I've shown you now but uh, I thought I might give you a quick look at some of the other things that other people have built. <coughs> okay so right here as you can see we've got some other pixel arts. Now these weren't built by me, these were built by one of my friends who's also on the world. His name is Three Bird, and he might comment on the video, I don't know, but you know, if he does I'll, you know, heart it or whatever usually, but uh, the important part of these, these aren't built by me, and again you will have seen some of these before on the previous videos, I don't remember which ones, but I'm just going to do a pan through, so you know, we've got some Pokemon here, Blaziken, Trico, Meloetta and Cyndaquil, a character from RWBY, which I don't really know about, he's an anime, f more of an anime fan than I am, uh, there's a ch uh, <laughs> Chocobo from Final Fantasy, um, character whose name I can't remember from Undertale, so um, it does say on the sign, but the camera angle makes it a bit difficult to go down there. A slime from Dragon Quest Builders, I think. Uh, the Animal Crossing logo, the uh, a Mewtwo, Kirby, a Zorua. He built a kind of tribute to my mushrooms with a Game Boy one, which was kind of cool. Um, then we've got Mew, just fly over here, get some angles in. Uh, we've got Mew there, Darkrai, Torchic, Croconaw, Lucario, Moltres, and then some of the ones you definitely won't have seen before. We've got Bidu, Shuckle, and then also the Black Ops 2 logo. Because uh, why not? And then we've got. Uh, some characters from Tekken here. I don't remember their names. Uh, another Undertale character whose name I can't remember. Uh, I'm just going to check what the sign says there. What is that? Uh, okay, this is a really annoying glitch that happens. Uh, basically, for some reason, other people's signs on our world sometimes just do this. I don't know why, but that's fucking annoying. Anyway. Uh, we've got a Metroid down there, Triforce, uh, okay, so in the back row we've got Snivy, we've got Samus, I guess from Super Metroid, uh, okay, I think, yeah, that sign works down there, oh, no it doesn't, my mistake, okay, I'm not even going to try reading the signs now, fuck's sake, okay, another character, I can't even remember where they're from, but the signs don't work, so... If you're watching this, uh, Thuey Bird, drop a comment down below telling me who that is because I can't remember. And then one of his biggest pieces right here, we've got the Call of Duty Ghosts logo, um, which, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the game, but I really like the logo and he did a great job with that, so it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, this one up here I almost forgot about. This is one of my favourite builds he did, the uh, Skyrim quest marker. It's kind of nice. And the... Last few over here, we've got some Pokeballs, this is kind of a work in progress. As you can see, we've got the original and a Great Ball, which both look pretty good. I'm not sure what he's building next, but I will show that in a later update once he's finished it. And then I guess the last thing we will talk about is we'll show some of my, one of my other friends, who you'll know as the Pi, his builds. So. You will have seen these before, but we've got a carbine, covenant carbine, we've got the halo logo, an energy sword, and then just recently he built, uh, not that, he built this, which is the 
Please tell me the sign works. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> okay, it's a BMW. I can't remember the model of it, but it's the really iconic one from, I think, Most Wanted 2005 it's from. Yeah, it's a very iconic car. If you know Need for Speed, Most Wanted, you will know this car. So, he did a really great job building that sprite as well. Uh, he also tried to build some Covenant stuff over here from Halo, like actual builds, but... Yeah, that's pretty much all I think I can show for now because there isn't there aren't really many other new things on the world yet. Um, so yeah, if you're enjoying these videos or this video, then if you haven't seen the other videos in the series, go check them out because they will show all the builds that you won't I didn't go over in this video in any detail. And let me know if you want me to make a recap video on those or if you can wait for me to sort of finish building them some more and then make a like a full something stupid like an hour long video showing everything and I'll put timestamps on so you can skip to the different parts and stuff um, anyway yeah hope you enjoyed this video I know I haven't, I haven't been uploading as much recently but I've been kind of having some uh, shitty things happening recently and I haven't really been motivated to make videos but um, yeah hopefully I will be doing some more things soon. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.